Well, as I just missed that ferry by two minutes, I just climbed up here. And I'm just having some peace and quiet. Oh, amazing. I do hope though, that that wasn't the last ferry. Because if it was, I'm in trouble. Good morning folks, welcome to episode three, and more importantly, welcome to Shetland. Let's go explore, yeah. Morning. Morning. Oh, he's unstrapped it and everything. Amazing, good lad. These lashing straps are amazing. So easy. <laughs> Folks, welcome to the channel and welcome to episode three. Yep, we're right up on the Shetland Islands. <laughs> still pitch black out there obviously because it's uh, only 10 to 8 and we are very very north let's go let's hope there's less wind up here where the forecast says there's less wind and no rain today that sailing was amazing actually slept perfectly thank you very much thank you Slept perfect, not a rough sailing at all, and there were weather warnings for it. If I can get a photo of that. Morning, mate. Yeah, <laughs> Thanks for having me. How are you doing? No worries. <laughs> I was just saying there, just waved as you went past. You. Oh, I saw you, mate. I didn't see you. Uh, yeah, I saw your stuff on Facebook this morning from um, from yesterday. Well, you're not a Sheltie. Nah, mate. Nah, nah, I'm from New Zealand. <laughs> I yeah, can yeah, tell. Yeah, I'm Shit, I'm 30 years this year. So 30 years? Yeah, yeah, moved here in 92. Yeah. Wow, 30 years, mate, you, just, I'm sure you know, but your accent's still dead, dead strong. Oh, yeah, 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 everyone says, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I'll never lose that. It's the only thing I've got going for. Yeah. <laughs> only thing you can hold on to the motherland. Yeah. 30 years, what brought you here then, work? Uh, or? Just, work, just working, yeah, and then yeah. I ended up getting a wife sentence, so, yeah. A uh, wife sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Got uh, five grandkids and another one on the way. So. Mate, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's all cool, mate. Do you, have you had breakfast? Not yet. Because we've got this greasy spoon. It's not the not the fanciest place in the world, but if you want to go for breakfast here, and I can uh, that'll do the job, mate. Yeah. I can um, give you a few pointers. You're going to go right up to right up north as far yeah. as you can go. Yeah, yeah, I'll go to Unst. Yeah, if I can. Yeah, yeah. You go right up there. This yeah. is um, you're probably today's probably your best day for it. Actually. Yeah. I uh, get the ferry to Yell, and then you'll ride through Yell, and Yell's got some really good roads. Yeah. Here up to up to um up to Unst. you can do that in a day it's where are you staying uh hillswick oh you're staying hillswick yeah oh, right oh, you hillswick hotel uh saint magnus saint magnus bay hotel. Yeah, yeah that's it right. saint magnus bay yeah my, my plan is i'll just do whatever i can same as with orkney i just i just you know i've got two good days there yeah, yeah. i do what i can on it you know yeah, right. speaking to yourself yeah. having some good ideas yeah, yeah. I'll follow you then, shall I? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, just go out and just follow just follow your nose around the road. There. Yeah, are you sure you've got time? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. okay. <laughs> cool, man. <laughs> Amazing. What a welcome to Shetland. <laughs> Met straight off the ferry. That ship was mega. Cabin were lovely. One little bit about three o'clock this morning that was bouncy, but nothing at all, about five minutes at tops. Other than that, it was a perfect sailing. I watched a film on me um, TV, Sicario. Great film, shit ending. Whether I've missed something, I don't know. Well, anyway, I'm gonna get right up to the most northern point today, then all being well. I'm staying quite high up anyway. Well, if you enjoyed the last episode, please do subscribe, it'll do me a massive favor. It'll please me greatly. We've said goodbye to the Orkneys. 
and good morning to Shetland and what a morning clear skies oh this is gonna be a great day folks so please stay tuned thank you mate thank you. really appreciate it yeah, nice see you on you see you in a bit ah Craig top man so because the weather is gonna be great today I'm gonna to do the slog today let's get on with it let's go to the most northern point of Shetland. This is going to be amazing. I've enjoyed exploring Orkney, but it's been hard work because of the wind. And now look, perfectly still seas. I am so excited. He says in the summer, it doesn't go dark till one o'clock in the morning and then it's light again by half past three. How amazing is that? I know of course I've seen the real midnight sun quite a lot higher than what we are now but that must be very very cool. So we're just leaving the main village of Lerwick. What temperature are we? I think we're a bit cooler today. Seven degrees. Might need to plug my heated stuff in. We're already in the sticks. Oh Shetland, stop flirting with me. It's still fairly dark, it's nine o'clock. Eight hundred and thirty miles we've done so far. Oh wow, look at all the islands there. Great roads. Uh, you know it must be nice living up here away from all the riffraff. What a lovely landscape. Oh look at that. I was talking to Craig about the uh, Aurora. I said, obviously living here for 30 years, you must have seen them many times. He said, no, I've never seen them. So the thought of me popping up here <laughs> for the first time ever and kind of half expecting to see them. Uh -uh. I think that's a um, once in a lifetime thing, isn't it? If you happen to catch the Northern Lights, consider yourself very, very lucky. Well, I'll tell you, if the skies are clear tonight, I am going to be glued to them. Ten miles on this road. <laughs> oh, my God. Never going to get to the top at this rate. Seals! Seals! Look at this, just look at that. Mind blowing. find a spot here I know that's a passing place but I'm jumping in I've got to do it I've got to do it sorry everybody please don't anybody moan at me not exactly busy is it good morning from the Shetland Islands the stunning Shetland Islands 20 past 9 the Sun's just coming up absolute paradise and I'm here by myself can't get much higher than this have a great day everybody I'm gonna need one with a DSLR 
this is going to take a long time today. Oh, thank you, sunshine. Thank you for giving me this moment. What a place to live. can't go photo in every corner can I otherwise we're never gonna get there but we're not in a rush are we we're not in a rush you can't be in a rush when you're on Shetland just take that in for a minute this really is gonna take me a long time today <laughs> folks what a time to be alive and what a You've got to take a chance with the weather. Ah, oh, I feel so lucky. Standing here, soaking all this up by myself. Myself and Big Lad. It's the 14th of January. Look. Fishing boats going about the daily business. All the hard work getting up here is worth it for this very moment. All that wind, all that snow, all that ice, all worth it for this. And to think, last night I was handed a piece of paper when I checked in for the ferry advising me of weather warnings and I should exercise caution make a decision whether or not to travel. Could have quite easily said, I don't think it should go. And look, oh, look at this. <laughs> Toft Ferry Terminal, folks. Good morning. morning. It's a sunny morning. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. Wow. Oh, flying down that road there, folks. I didn't think that we'd be getting on it. Awesome. We think it's quarter to do. Pardon? We think it's quarter to. I don't know. Where where are you gentlemen from? Halifax. Halifax. It's crackers, isn't it? You, you come all this way north, and then you you meet someone like not far that far from home. Is that a proper so what's your mission? Up here? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, mine's a cheap old one. Yeah. What's your mission up here? Well, I've got a YouTube channel, and I make I make uh, travel videos. Oh, yeah. Have you been uh, vlogging in uh, Orkney as well? Orkney as well, yeah. Did you get to the Italian chapel? Yes, I did. It's yeah, it's fantastic. You know, there's something about this place. It's just magical this morning. You'd never mount that. <laughs> <laughs> you can jump on if you want. If you don't know try to fall off. <laughs> Is this just an annual boys' trip then that you're on? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. I have to have them back at about five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend that came up here last time he came. He told his wife we were only coming for three days, and we were here for ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll never believe bloody ferry's been cancelled. <laughs> you know what it's like up there. <laughs> Oh dear. I'm oh, just having a right good crack with these boys in front. They gave me a pear drop. Thank you, gentlemen. Pleasure to meet you all. I'm sure that sounds lovely. I love that. These boys in front. All best to mates. Go away on a, on a lad's trip every year. That's fantastic. All ripping piss out of each other. Straight down the middle, mate.
welcome to Yell. The island of Yell. The friendly isle. That's um, data tool. As soon as your bike gets put on a ferry, they ring you to check that it's you that's moving it. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And because I didn't answer that, they'll give me another call in a minute or a text message for me to reply to. What a beautiful landscape, folks. I think what's making this so special is, is the lack of people. It really is like everyone's gone. I'm here just by myself exploring. I love to see old broken down barns like that. Think of the history on it. What it's been through and how long it's been there and what it did at its height of uh, productivity, you know. And now it's just sat there looking sorry for itself. But still very much there, you know. I'll get a bit soft like that sometimes. I wonder what the um, crime levels are like up here. You wouldn't think it's even existent, would you? Look how still this is. I'm going to have to do the Outer Hebrides next. Stone away and all those islands over to the uh, west side. There's just no people. There's sheep. There's lots of sheep. There's definitely more sheep than people. There we go. What if my pals are here already? They are. How do? Fancy bloody seeing you here. <laughs> I went the scenic route. <laughs> I'm bloody pushing in, look! <laughs> Mega. Um. <laughs> Is that all right? You basically know everybody that comes for Yell anyway. Of course, yeah. yeah, yeah so. He said that, he said you might not ask for it, but... Yeah, yeah, you're better to have it. Thank you. Yeah, you can tell the difference in that accent straight away. Really strong. There we go, we're nearly on. Unst. The highest, most northern island of the Shetlands. So we're now as far away as it could possibly be. Well, when we get to the top of this island, which is only 15 miles north of where we are. Welcome to Unst. Right, let's go to the top. I'm so glad I put the effort in for this trip. We are now as close to Norway as we are to Scotland. We will be as close to Bergen in Norway as we are to John O'Groats, give or take. We will be at the most northern point of the United Kingdom soon. Just look at the map now on the screen, look. We're heading to the top of the last tiny island of the Shetland Islands. There's something special about going north. I will never class Scotland mainland as north ever again. This is north. We're going to go past the most northerly house in the United Kingdom. What's that different up here? They're rocky. 
roads are actually in amazing condition. This boat. Skilled bladder. Wow. I'm on a Viking ship. Wow. Mega. What if you can get in this place? Long house, Viking long house. Wow, where's my torch? Luckily for you guys, I brought one. A good one. <laughs> wow. Birds nest up there. Donations. It certainly is a long house. Unst is in the middle of the Viking Seaways and Haraldswick might have been the landing point for some of the first Vikings to arrive in Shetland. Today there are the remains of at least 60 Norse longhouses in the island. The largest number of rural sites anywhere in the Viking world. Three were excavated between 2006 and 2010 in Hamar. Underhall and Belmont. Archaeologists discovered that none of the sites were exactly the same. Some had stone walls, some had turf walls, some had beaten earth floors, some were paved with stones, and one even had a wooden floor. This replica longhouse has been built using the information obtained during excavations. It is based on the discoveries from Hamar, but has side rooms added, like those found in Underhall. Longhouses had different purposes. Some were simple farms with animals living in with the families. Others were occupied by powerful jarls and their men. They were lived in for centuries and the use has changed. Outbuildings came and went as did the side rooms. The replica captures a moment in time. Wow. This is something I'll say folks. For me it is, anyway. Victoria's Vintage Tea Shop. I'd like to call for a vintage cup of tea. <laughs> Just listen to this. How nice is that? Nothing. Just nothing. No traffic noise. No hustle and bustle. Just the sea lapping against the shore. Oh, stunning, absolutely stunning. We're not far off the highest point that you can possibly go to in the United Kingdom. Oh, let's have a look at these tyres. Still plenty left. But we have almost burnt that sipe away from that middle one. Yeah, they're still doing great. 
but they're very good. Very happy with them. Look at the state of the bike. I think I'm going to think back to this little tea stop for quite some time. Lovely lady. Super friendly, super helpful. Victoria's Vintage Tea Rooms. She apologised when I went in. She says, look, we're not actually open till the 9th of Feb, so I've not made any cakes. Is that going to be okay? I said, a pot of tea would be lovely. So I just sat out here with a pot of tea. Right, let's go to the top. My brakes are making a right squeak. Must have a lot of salt and rubbish stuck in them. Four miles to the top. Can't go much further, folks. Look at that map. Yes. Is that that dirt road all the way up there? Please tell me it is. <laughs> I think it is. Mega. Hey. No, oh, it's not a dirt road. It's just steep though. We're approaching the highest point on Unst and that is the last place of the United Kingdom. You cannot go any higher. We are at the top. Look at that out there jutting out. I wonder how far I can get out onto that. Oh look. What I was saying earlier about these uh, barns you think of all the stories that this barn could, the house, all the stories that that house can tell you, overlooking this bay, several hundred years or many hundreds of years, and now they're just sat there looking all sorry, but still have those tails within the walls, the chimneys are still standing, this is awesome. I guess you can't go out there. Suitable for off-road vehicles only. Let's go. Oh, it's going down there then. Well, we can have a look, can't we? We're an off-road vehicle, aren't we? Score was of vital importance in the home defence of Britain during the Second World War. An RAF site was established here in the Lam Lamberness in 1940 to provide radar protection to the north, from the north. The site was chosen for its strategic position and height and because it provided an unrestricted radar range. Although vulnerable from the air, the steep cliffs provided no landing place for enemy approaching from the sea. The only small beach was blocked with metal posts. Hi. Hi, sheepy. Looks like they'll come and say hello. Hey. I wonder how far I can get down there. So it keeps going. Look at this. I think I can get right to the end. If I can, I am. Can't believe I've come all the way down here. I'm 
Oh my god. This is just unbelievable. Really unbelievable. Look, folks. Look at this. See which way I came in. Ah, it is. It is, it is that wall. Oh, I'm very happy we came down here together. Very, very, very happy. The most northern home in Great Britain. Nice accolade to have, isn't it? There you go, folks. This is the most northerly point of the National Cycle Route. The route follows the entire length of the east coast of Britain. The most southerly point is 1,695 miles away in Dover. Imagine having this as your back garden. Do you know, I can't believe how mild it is up here. I'm going to too close to that because it's all going to collapse. Oh yeah. We're now as close to Norway as we are to Scotland. Mainland. Let's get his feet in. Yes. Oop, that were a bit high. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? Where are you travelling from? Derbyshire. Okay. You? We live on you. Yeah. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. We're having a day out. <laughs> oh, it's stunning, isn't it? Stopped, uh, being windy and whatever. Yeah. And if it stays like this, just perfect. I can't believe how mild it is. Yeah, but, uh, but it, you don't really have winters as such. Because the summers can only, you know, in the middle of summer, it might only be 12 or 13 degrees. Yeah. And winter, after is about 4 degrees. But you've got to take the storms and everything else that comes in. Yeah. How long have you lived on Yell then? Not long. About six months. Yeah. Well, from? Uh, we've been on the Isle of Man for nearly 20 years. Okay. Why Yell? Any, any particular reason? Or? We've been coming to Shetland for years. Yell, everybody gets on, drives straight through to Unst, and it's wonderful. Yeah. And, the, and it's got to be the friendliest island there is. Really? They're all friendly. Everyone will talk to you, but Yell is just yeah, yeah, really something special to us. Yeah. Oh, amazing. It's a stunning place, no doubt about it. Yeah. My first time this is Shetland and Orkney as well, so there's no people. And it's like it's like it's almost you're being treated to it for yourself. Yeah. Well, well, summer's not that much different. All right, best get a move on. It's all right to chat to you anyway. Take take care. Thank you.
Let's get a move on. Well, I'm glad to say I've been here. close to the water's edge we are. Seven mile, five o'clock arrival, so we'll be dark. I hope uh, the ferries don't stop at a certain time, otherwise I'm in trouble. Well, today has been amazing, really, really amazing. Very special, actually, today. Viking Longhouse. Time seems to have disappeared today. One minute it was this morning, getting on the first uh, ferry onto Yell. And now it seems like it's late. Talking to the couple on the beach there and they were saying it doesn't really have a winter. Summer can reach only really 12, 13 degrees in the height of summer up here. And the winter really only drops as deep as five. It's just fairly mild all the time. So I wonder if they don't really have snow up here then because of the Gulf Stream. I'm very surprised how mild it is. It's just magic to be up here, folks. It's magic. Oh, just missed it. As I just missed that ferry by two minutes, I just climbed up here and I'm just having some peace and quiet. Oh, amazing. I do hope though that that wasn't the last ferry because if it was, I'm in trouble. Fresh Shetland air.
<laughs> Not again! <laughs> you had a good day? Yes, we got to the top. Yeah, same. Oh, did you go for the walk? Yeah. Yeah, did you? I went to the uh, other side, you know, the the most northern house. We thought this was the most northern part, but... We, no, that's we, the most, north, most northern point, but the most northern home is just around the other side. Oh, right. Yeah, so I went to that, and then by the time I came round to the other side... But did you get to see the line? No, I didn't go that far up. Go up that other road then, towards that military station. Uh, no, I, I was going to, but then I was thinking, hmm, all of a sudden, time ran away. I know, like, didn't it? Look at the lights going now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Been a bit of off-roading up there to that top of, top of there, and I've just sat up there for a bit in perfect peace and quiet. It's been lovely. Thank you. Back onto Yell. I'm glad I listened to Craig's advice this morning and went all the way up to Unst today without, uh, you know, dicking about and, and stuff because I wouldn't have had enough time, I don't think. Well, I definitely wouldn't have had enough time because I've done, I've gone straight up there and done the things I wanted to do whilst up there, but it's, uh, it's dusk now. Just riding on this road on my own I'm forgetting it's still the beginning of January. The roads are clean. The roads are in very nice condition. It's like, it feels more like a late summer. Well, day one on Shetlands coming to a close. Look at this, it's just like, it is, it's just like a, a late summer's evening ride. Can we catch that ferry? I'm just getting hungry now as well. I hope they've got a nice restaurant at the hotel. There's the lads again, look. <laughs> Welcome to Yell, the friendly isle. It's bloody lovely, this is. It is. That coming across that, uh, you know, the scenic coast road there again. It's just like this. It's just, you know, up and down as well. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It's a cool lad, isn't it? surrounded by water there's just no ambient light is it but the sky when the skies are clear I bet it's so nice to just just become in complete blackness and then when the Aurora starts to dance it must just be magic look at the top left on the map Hillswick that's where we're going Six miles. Pretty cool ride, this is in dark. 
keep your size out for it now. St. Magnus Bay Hotel. Doesn't seem to be much out here. Much lit up or anything. We've arrived, folks. We've arrived. Oh.